our next guest does some smart kitchen devices by working with partner companies that communicate with the Globe's online grocery retailers. And you might ask, well, that's cool, but how does it help me as a consumer? Stay tuned. You're about to find out. The managing director of Pantry, as in P-A-N-T-R-I, Pantry, is Thomas Cooper. Thomas, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Very good. Thank you. Yes. It's good a, to see you. It's a pleasure to have you. Tell me about Pantry, and then let's get into more specifically what you guys do. Sure. Yeah. So you're familiar with Facebook and how that platform connects oh, you. Oh, yes. That anti-social yeah. media. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It connects <laughs> you to all your friends, and they can see what you're doing here over in Berlin. Oh, yeah. And you're familiar with Uber. So when you leave the show tonight, you can call up that platform and you can get a taxi back to back to your hotel. So Pantry is the platform that's hopefully going to be connecting your new smart appliances that you're going to go and be buying over the next couple of years in your kitchen and hooking them up to the grocery retailers that you're now able to shop with online. So let me explain a little bit more how that might work. Yeah, so so yeah. Because it already sounds like it's cool because it's helping grocery uh, retailers and manufacturers of these devices, uh, but in the long run, it's benefiting us as consumers. Sure, sure, okay. yeah. So, so, you'll go, so you'll go home after the show. You've seen all the new kitchen appliances that you're going to go and purchase when you go back home. You go into your local shop and you buy the new Siemens connected dishwasher. Yeah. Okay. You go and take that home, you plumb it in, you connect it up to your Wi-Fi and you can control it on your phone with the Siemens app. That's all very good. But then what you can do is you can then connect that up to our service and we will watch as your dishwasher runs and each time it runs we'll count down how many dishwasher tablets you use and then when you get down to your last three or four we'll then send a quick order over to Walmart and then we'll place a new order for you on with all your other online shopping groceries that So then I'm do. not running out of the things that I'm using Absolutely, regularly yes, yeah, and, yeah. I, and I want them anyway so Absolutely. you're not you're not out buying stuff that I don't want and, de and never gave you permission to do because I'm opting into the program to the service and say of course I want to know when I'm running out of these things Sure yeah and it's all those things that you you need but you probably don't enjoy buying yeah. So I'm sure you, you know, when you go to when you go to your local supermarket, I'm sure you walk around enjoying buying fairy liquid and, you know, all your toilet roll and things like that. Yeah. It's not a it's not a particularly enjoyable purchase. Purchase you just need to get it set week yeah. in week out. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to automate that away, and so what we hope is that that will then enable you to then go and purchase the stuff that you do enjoy and maybe go down to local artisanal providers and maybe on a Saturday morning. You wake up and you think, right, what have I got to do today? And at the moment, you need to go down to the supermarket. You need to do your weekly shop. Well, okay, yesterday the Walmart delivery truck turned up and it got everything that I needed in. So let's walk down into town. Let's go and go to our local deli. Let's go and get some nice fresh meat. Go to our local baker's. And you can go and enjoy purchasing those items. Like, like how it used to be in the olden days. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so... Uh, we long for the olden days, right? Absolutely, yeah. sure, yeah. Well, not us. We're hoping for the future, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but, but it's cool to kind of reminisce about that to see how technology is making such a difference in our lives uh, to, to be able to do some enjoyable things and not just the mundane things we have to do. For sure, Like yeah. replacing yeah. these items uh, at home and that kind of... It's. I think a lot of our audience might be familiar with like the Amazon Dash buttons kind of thing where you push a button and you've reordered your Tide Pods or something of that nature. Absolutely, yes. But in this case, it sounds... Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you guys at Pantry are just doing that for us. I don't have to push a button. You're yes. keeping tabs. Yeah, yeah. And as I'm running out of things because they're connected devices or otherwise, you're ordering what I need. Absolutely, yes. And let me answer that question in two ways because absolutely right, we are we're, we're looking at all the different sources that we can get. So let me show you this one. So this is this is a Airwick. Um, An air freshener. Uh, air freshener, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. So one of our guys back at the office, he's actually managed to change out the section inside and make it Wi-Fi connected. And so with these, they normally deliver aerosols in packs of three, and yeah. we can then just um, count down as you go through the three, and then when you get down to your last one, we can automatically reorder it. So there's all sorts of things like that. We have actually got our own little Amazon Dash-style button. <laughs> um, 
But um, so it's like a, the maker community sort of a thing. Uh, absolutely, yeah. So so with this one, yeah. So we've created this, and all of the um, all of the designs are available. It's all open source. You all realize I'm pushing it many times. Absolutely, so I'm yeah. I'm probably reordering a whole. No, bunch it's of fine. Paper you you've you. ordered about twenty beers to yeah. go back for when I get back. So Not that's fine. Not a problem. Bring ten <laughs> back. <laughs> but I, so I'm, I'm liking that concept because off the air we talked about how you guys are encouraging the maker community and, and enthusiasts. For sure, yeah, yeah. So, so the whole idea with this is that we're giving um, electronics hobbyists um, basically some templates to start messing about and building this stuff themselves. Ah. So, so clearly, the big brands are going to be making their big appliances and they're going to be the best at doing that. But if you think about the person who creates the connected um, fruit bowl, for example, that's probably going to be somebody who's messing about in their garden shed and figures that out and then maybe turns that into a nice um, nice startup. Yeah, oh, for yeah. sure. And, and it helps your end goal in the long run. Sure, of yeah, absolutely, because it then connects through to us. And um, obviously, from our point of view, we've got then this big ecosystem of appliances that are appearing. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I like the concept, so keep <laughs> up that <laughs> Good work. It's pretty sure. cool. Pantry, P A N T R I, not Y, P A N T R I dot net in the U.S. I don't know about you guys, but in the U.S. we spell it pantry with a Y. Yes. But we want to make sure people get it right. Pantry with an I dot net. And you'll get more info about what Thomas and his team are working on. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at IFA. Yeah, thank you, Dave. My pleasure. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline, intotomorrow.com. For all the videos of all the radio interviews, once again this week from Berlin, Germany, I'm Dave Graveline. Did I say that? I don't know. It's uh, under these hot TV lights. You get tired. On the Advanced Media Network. <laughs>